Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another delicious bite and if you've been in it for a minute i thank you so very much for coming on back father god i thank you for this beautiful day i thank you for this meal that you have placed before me father god i thank you for my friends family and subscribers i thank you for blessing them and keeping them safe lord bless this food make it nourishing to my body and my body to your service in jesus name i thank and praise you for everything every single day amen so you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and today is my quick, easy, go-to spaghetti. But first, we're going to read the good word. This is piping hot, so I got a minute. <laughs> so we're reading from um, my 365 daily devotionals, I Hear His Whisper. Encounter God's heart for you. So this is what we're reading from today. And it says, it is good to be alone with Jesus in the early morning hours. Many mornings before the sun is up, we spend time hearing and listening to the voice we have come to love. God whispers to those who seek him. Yes, he will thunder with a mighty sound, but he will also whisper his words of love into our hearts. We love and serve a God who delights in hearing our voice in prayer. How grateful we can be that the God of glory hears our sighs and our cries. Even our hearts are liquid words, and he can read them all. Our God answers prayer. He whispers to us his messages of love and truth. Prayer can be two-sided. We call out to him, and he answers us with tremendous love, whispering into our hearts, I know you. I see what you are going through and I am there for you. Today, you can learn and you can lean into his heart and hear for yourself the words of grace he may speak to you. This is a compilation of the messages of love we have heard and spoken to our hearts. While God has spoken these words personally, each whisper will also have application for life. For example, God welcomes each of us to know that he is enough and to respond to his invitation to give our hearts to him. God is not silent. He has a voice and we can hear it for ourselves. We trust these whispers will speak a desire to hear God's gentle voice. Amen. That's the good word. God whispers at times and we need to lean in and we need to learn to listen. And when he thunders in a mighty roar, we definitely hear him, but sometimes he doesn't want to do all that. He just wants us to draw closer and listen to the still, quiet voice. And that's me early in the morning when I'm up and I'm moving and I'm getting ready for work and I'm driving into work. That's my quiet time with God. That's usually when I'm praying or I'm just talking to him and I'm trying to get my mind set for the day. And I always start out with a thank you. Just thank you for waking me up. Thank you for allowing me to breathe another day. Thank you for going into work with me and helping me to be a light for you. I start out my day with a thank you. So we're going to be reading back and forth between all my different books, but this is a new one I picked up and I absolutely would love to share it with you. All right, let's get into this delicious bite. I have some spaghetti and meatballs. I got my little garlic bread on the side. I am drinking Tropicana pineapple mango juice. And let's get it. How is everybody doing today? I hope you are doing, oh, it's still smoking. I hope you are doing well, blessed and highly favored. I'm trying to get y'all the first bite, but it's hot. It's hot as hot. Get it, get it. <laughs> Mm. 
Yum. Mm. I made the meatballs little because I'm trying to eat less meat. So I don't even know if I'll eat them all, but they in here. Mm -hmm. Like mushrooms, cheese, onions, garlic. I see I'm rolling the meatballs to the side. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a meatless meal every now and again. When I cook them and put them in here, I'll probably eat them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Maybe I'll eat the bread and it won't make me want the meat. So I hope everyone's having a beautiful day or, you know, a beautiful morning when you get this. Today is Wednesday. I hope all is well. Mm -hmm. Work was good. No issues, no problems. The hospital gave us back our raises. So we got raises this year. Because when everything broke loose, they took the raises away. Mm -hmm. We were due for a raise and we didn't get it. Um, hold on, y'all. I don't have a napkin. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. All right. I'm back. I used to keep napkins in here, but... I'm still moving things and rearranging things from Christmas, so I don't have my map, my napkin sitting out like I normally would. But anyway, we got our raise back, so that was nice. Because, like I said, when everything broke loose, they took that. They was like, nope, we're not going to be able to give raises this year. So, we didn't get them. So, they gave those back. <clears throat> they gave us our, or they reinstated our 401k and 403b. Because they had stopped matching that. They had stopped putting into that. So, we got that back. Glad about that as well. So hopefully things are <clears throat> trying to get back to normal as far as like our benefits and stuff. I was watching Veggie Pals eat spaghetti last week. <clears throat> that spaghetti looks so good. That's probably why I got some.
It was a subliminal message. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What are you all going to be eating on this evening? I know you guys see my videos in the morning. Well, if you watch them when they first come out, it's in the morning. So... What are you all going to be eating? I just don't think you can mess spaghetti up. I just don't think you can. put cheese in the sauce so that's why I didn't put extra cheese on top Patients have been, <clears throat> excuse me, the patients have started asking the nurses, have we gotten the vaccine yet? And what do we think about it and how have we been feeling and what, you know, how did we do? I just look at them and say, Nope, didn't get it yet. And one might think that they would be like, oh, you didn't get it yet. I don't want you taking care of me. <laughs> but no. <clears throat> That's not what they say at all. They want to know why. They want to know if I know something they don't know and maybe they shouldn't get it. I'm like, no, it's not that. So I'm just waiting. <clears throat> I don't know anything that nobody else knows. I'm just, you know, a little slow. Just watching everybody else. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm glad I made the meatballs instead of the meat sauce that I started to make. Because then the meat would have been all through the sauce and I couldn't decide whether or not I want to eat the meat or not eat the meat. In the meatball form, I can push it to the side. For the most part, most of the patients that we've gotten have all said they want it. So 
So it's just a matter of when it's their turn. I know in another <clears throat> week or two, some of the people I work with will be going in for round two for the second half because it'll be time. You guys, I got some blue light glasses. I like to shield your eyes from blue light from the computer and from your phone. Not these, but to help filter that blue light away. Because I was reading that it messes with your sleep. And Lord knows I toss and turn and wake up 10 times in the middle of the night. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. They were saying <clears throat> that you should get off your phone at least an hour before you go to sleep because of all the blue light that you've exposed yourself to for whatever reason you won't sleep well. I can't remember why they said it messes with your sleep. But they said if not that, you can wear the blue light glasses and I'm going to wear those and see what happens because usually just before I go to bed is when I'm answering my um, comments and editing to get ready to upload and then like my computer or my phone will be the last thing I turn off or you know my phone I flip it over because I don't need the, the light of the phone waking me up my computer I turn it off it's the last thing I do before I actually close my eyes so it's not an hour before I go to bed it's literally seconds before I go to bed so I'm going to wear my blue lights while I'm editing and answering comments to see if that helps. I'll let you know. I'm going to give it a couple days and let you know if I see a difference. The meatballs are still there. I think I went meatless today. <laughs> Not completely. Because I did have a turkey sandwich at lunch. <laughs> mm. And I'm not going meatless. I just, you know, I just thought maybe if I have meat at lunch, I won't have it at dinner. Or if I don't have it at lunch, I will have it at dinner. And just not to have meat for both meals. I don't know. Just doing something. Just trying something. Trying a new thing. I ain't, <laughs> ain't going to eat them. I keep looking at them. I want to eat them, but I'm, I'm not going to eat them today. But I'm going to lunch tomorrow. If I put meatballs in there, I'm eating them. And then I just won't have meat at dinner, I think. We'll see. I'm a work in progress, y'all. All right, <clears throat> that's going to bring this video to a close. I thank you so much for joining me for this 
quick and delicious spaghetti dinner. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Show me out, show me out, show me out, y'all. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites so that maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I truly believe that you're capable of amazing things. I hope you believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another video. <laughs> Bye.